and uh, I'll explain to you how you do that. By the way, don't run that app very long because it does drain the battery on your phone. So make sure when you get here, you got plenty of uh, battery life on your phone. When you when you plot your data and you get your trend line, you're going to get an equation that looks like this: magnetic field equals your slope m times the current plus a really small number that we're not going to worry about. If you don't get something that looks like that, you got a problem. Okay, so how from that do you figure out the experimental permeability of air? Well, we know that B is equal to mu zero, N, where N is the number of turns per meter, times the current. plus a really small number called zero. If we set these two to equal to each other, we get that m times the current is equal to mu zero n times the current. Because those zero, those two numbers don't, can, don't, they cancel out. We can cancel out the currents and we get that m is equal to mu zero times n. This is for the first part where we're changing the currents. Because in this case, n, the number of turns per meter, is a constant. We know m, we know n, solve for mu zero. In the second one, it's almost the same thing, except in the second one, the currents and the n's change. So instead of this being our equation for our plot being m times n, I'm going to say m times current, it's going to be m times n. All right? This is still the case. And then when we set them equal, we get this. m times n is equal to mu zero n. And the currents drop out. What did I do wrong? Yes, this is correct. And in this case, oh, times, times current. Left the current off. How did I do wrong here? Yes, this is right. This is right. Okay? Mn mu zero n times current. The n's cancel out, and we get that m is equal to mu zero times the current. Again, this is the second part. The current stays a constant in the second part. We know m, that's our experimental data. We know our current, solve for mu zero. Bang. If you don't get a really small intercept, you did something wrong. If you don't get something really close to 0 0.00126, you did something wrong. Last couple things I want to show you for troubleshooting.